Since 2011, the television series American Horror Story, or AHS, has been horrifying Americans with stories some would describe as pretty messed up. But that doesn't stop people from watching. Indeed, AHS has garnered an immense viewership while winning countless awards in every category imaginable. Some even stated that AHS unquestionably joined the ranks of television's landmark series. While most series become stale after a few years, AHS managed to remain relevant by casting big stars in starring roles, while promoting each season with highly fashionable posters and trailers. As you can see in this poster, despite the praises the series received, there's actually something terribly wrong with AHS. The horror on display is not your usual scary stuff. It goes way deeper than that. It is about putting on display the sick obsessions of the occult elite and, in a way, celebrating them. In the case of this image, Lady Gaga holds children on a leash in a ritualistic manner, an artistic way of representing the elite's love for preying on children. The 12th season of AHS, titled Delicate, follows the same formula. Kim Kardashian was enlisted as the buzzworthy lead actress, and the subject matter is, more than ever, pure occult elite madness. Of course, the season was preceded by a fashionable photo shoot. This poster featuring Cara Delevingne alludes to the satanic medical complex seen in AHS Delicate. As expressed by this poster, AHS Delicate centers around the theme of motherhood. But like evil false satanic motherhood, where every single aspect of childbearing is corrupted and turned into a complete nightmare. This is a scene from AHS Delicate, takes place in a room full of babies in jars. As we'll soon see, the series is an excuse to turn the elite's obsession with harming sacrificing and exploiting babies into art. While the main story of the series is about the struggles of a mother-to-be, the context surrounding it is all about Hollywood and its dark tendencies. Indeed, through various side stories, AHS actually reveals the occult side of historical Hollywood events. While AHS is a work of fiction, there's a clear effort to draw parallels with real-life Hollywood. For instance, Kim Kardashian plays the role of a powerful Hollywood figure who is also part of a satanic witch coven. The least one can say is that this role wasn't much of a stretch for her, since the Kardashian clan is a coven of witches. Is this why Kim K was, surprisingly, selected to play this important role in the series? Here's a look at the main themes of the series. The series' opening sequence is all about translating into art the elite's obsession with corrupting motherhood. A gynecological exam chair drips in blood. Motherhood turns into a satanic blood ritual. The skeleton of a baby is inside a gift box emblazoned with the sigil of Lucifer. The person who thought of that image has serious issues that need to be addressed. A stroller on fire. The message is, babies are being sacrificed. With these psychopathic images ingrained in our brains, the story begins. Emma Roberts plays the role of Anna Victoria Alcott, a Hollywood actress who is trying to get pregnant. Evidently, someone doesn't want her to. After failing to get pregnant several times, Anna is referred to the best fertility clinic in town. Spoiler, it is secretly controlled by Satanists. Through IVF, she finally gets pregnant, and she and her husband Dex are very happy. However, Anna starts seeing weird things happening around her. On her way to the clinic, Anna sees a nest with a dead baby bird inside. More anti-baby art from the same people who are obsessed with the birds. Throughout the episodes, several characters engage in anti-baby rhetoric that seems to be written by the WEF. One woman, who turns out to be a witch, tells Anna. But honestly, why anyone would want a child boggles my mind. You wait your whole childhood to be free to make your own choices. And then what choice do you make? To create an unnecessary being, who contributes to global warming, who feeds on our body, and whose survival you're responsible for. An unnecessary being who contributes to global warming. Yup, that's how they see our children. Other than parroting unhinged wef sponsored rhetoric, a great portion of the series is dedicated to people giving Anna weird looks and her looking up things on her iPhone. Indeed, Apple products get a ridiculous amount of screen time during the series, 
which leads me to believe that the company paid big bucks for product placements in a series about Satanist sacrifices. It is unsurprising, because the company's logo is a bitten apple. Fun fact, in Genesis, Lucifer told Eve to bite a fruit, traditionally represented as an apple. This screenshot shows Anna's husband, Dex, offers her to bite an apple. Symbolic. We'll soon understand that Anna cannot trust anybody, and nearly everything she's given to eat is tainted. We later learn that Dex's father is a high-level cultist who subjected his mother to satanic ritual abuse, or SRA. Not unlike Eve, Anna bites the apple. In fact, she eats the whole thing. Symbolic. While her pregnancy is supposed to be a blessing, we soon realize that it is very cursed. In this screenshot, Anna is followed by creepy bird ladies who walk around with goats. Remember the creepy bird nest earlier? The series is full of bird symbolism. The bird ladies perform gynecological procedures on Anna while repeating a satanic chant. She's being impregnated with a cursed demon baby. Translated from Latin, the chant says, Hail, O child of Satan, long live the children of our Lord. Without exaggerating, this chant is heard at least a hundred times during the series. It keeps popping up, as witches creepily dance to it, or perform rituals. I believe that one of the objectives of the series is to get that rather catchy chant inside one's head for days on end. Eventually, Anna gives birth, surrounded by the coven of witches. The inverted pentagram indicates that the miracle of life got turned into an unholy satanic ritual. If you look closely at this image, Anna is holding an Oscar while giving birth to the demon baby. That's because she agreed to give up her baby to the coven in order to win it. Kim Kardashian plays the role of Siobhan Corbin, Anna's publicist and best friend. The snake around her neck indicates that there's something evil going on with her. Before getting pregnant, Anna starred in a horror feminist movie called The Author. Against all odds, she's winning countless awards for it. We'll soon learn that dark forces are at play. In one of her iPhone searches, Anna comes across the insane ramblings of a conspiracy theorist. We soon learn that the conspiracy theorist was very correct. At the end of the series, the obvious is revealed. Siobhan is actually the head of a satanic witch coven. And through dark forces, she manipulates the entire industry to get the results she is looking for. For instance, Anna's main competition for an Oscar is a young actress named Babette Eno. Something happens to her that often happens in Hollywood. Babette is murdered by the coven and it is framed as a car crash in mass media. As seen in this screenshot, Babette was decapitated in the car crash. This parallels a real-life Hollywood event. In 1969, actress Jane Mansfield died in a car crash, and it was long rumored that she was decapitated in the process. Strange fact, she was a high priestess in the Church of Satan. Is AHS sending us a message about the true cause of her death? Here are some pictures of Jane Mansfield with Anton Lady, the head of the Church of Satan. Through its narrative, AHS also communicates other truths about Hollywood. Anna starred in a movie titled The Author, which was credited to a male director named Hamish Moss. In actuality, Siobhan, the witch, wrote the feminist movie and convinced the director to take the credit by using sex. However, Hamish ends up feeling uncomfortable with this literal deal with the devil and gets the urge to reveal the truth to the world. Then, something happens to him that often happens in Hollywood. The Hollywood witches get him killed, and the media frames it as a suicide. With Siobhan and her coven manipulating Hollywood behind the scenes, Anna reaps the rewards. Of course, that comes with a sacrifice. Anna wins an Oscar for Best Actress, after agreeing to give up her child. This entire scenario is eerily similar to what happened in real life this year. Emma Stone gives her acceptance speech after winning Best Actress at the 2024 Academy Awards. In AHS, Anna won an Oscar for starring in a disturbing feminist movie credited to a man. In 2024, Emma Stone won an Oscar for starring in a disturbing feminist movie credited to a man. The movie in question is Poor Things, and it is also a sickening display of the elite's depravity. Is reality stranger than fiction? 
On a few occasions, AHS flashes back to past real-life Hollywood events to show how the coven intervened behind the scenes. One such flashback involves the 1968 movie Rosemary's Baby. Director Roman Polanski, seen behind the cameraman, forces actress Mia Farrow to walk in actual New York City traffic to film a scene. He famously told her that nobody would hit a pregnant woman. It actually happened, Mia Farrow was made to walk in live traffic during the filming of Rosemary's Baby. There's an entire puzzle of occult strangeness surrounding this movie. Directed by Roman Polanski, the movie is about a woman being groomed by a satanic cult to give birth to the Antichrist. In AHS, Sharon Tate, Roman Polanski's wife, approaches Mia Farrow and tells her, the devil is beautiful, you know. While this scene might seem random, a bit of context gives it an eerie meaning. The following is an excerpt from Vigilant Citizen's article on Rosemary's Baby. Before settling on Mia Farrow, Roman Polanski originally envisioned his wife, Sharon Tate, as playing the role of Rosemary. She was not cast in the role, but did make an uncredited appearance in the movie, during a party scene. Fourteen months after the release of the movie, Tate, who was eight months pregnant, was ritualistically killed by members of the Manson family. She was stabbed 16 times and her killers wrote the word pig in her blood on the wall of her house. Did Roman Polanski sacrifice his wife, the same way Guy sacrificed Rosemary in the movie, to obtain the favors of Hollywood? Soon after the death, he allowed himself to be photographed by Life magazine in the house where Tate had died. Her dried blood was still clearly visible in the pictures. The photo shoot caused him to be heavily criticized. In short, everything about Rosemary's baby reeks of the occult elite's involvement. AHS seems to agree. Behind the scenes, Mia Farrow discovers that Saibon, who doesn't age because she's a witch, is behind this foul satanic movie. In AHS, Saibon represents the occult elite as a whole. So what happens to Anna and her baby? While the ending is somewhat enigmatic, it is also exactly the ending one would expect from occult Hollywood. After giving birth to the demon baby, Anna's apartment mysteriously turns red, the color of sacrifice. There, Sayaban reveals her master plan. Siobhan reveals that she is breeding an army of demon babies to kill all men on earth, while keeping some of them as sex slaves, and bring about a matriarchy. In yet another Hollywood production, witchcraft and Satanism are associated with feminism. Also, all of the women around Anna during her pregnancy were secretly part of the coven. Well, they're not all women. The witch on the right is a transgender woman. Yup, a biological male is part of the matriarchy plan. Makes perfect sense. So, Saiban gives Anna a choice. Join us and receive our gifts, eternal youth, beauty, and power. Or not, and wander the world ugly, aging and alone. Alright, let's pause a second. Why is she talking about youth, beauty, and the threat of being alone if the goal is to kill all men? Evidently, someone needs to sit down with the witches to revise their matriarchy business plan. But in the end, it doesn't matter, because Anna manages to kill Saiban. How? Well, a ghost appears to her and gets her to start chanting, Ave Hestia, referring to the Greek goddess of hearth and home, to counter the Ave Satanas of the witches and that alone killed the powerful witch who had been influencing the world for centuries. Yeah, it was lame, and fans of the show hated that part. But hey, they had to wrap up the story in the final ten minutes somehow. In the final scene of the series, Anna wears Siobhan's headdress while holding her baby, who is now normal and not demonic. She's also holding her Oscar. She has it all. So, did the light win against the darkness? Did good win over evil? One would think so, but not really. The baby's bedroom is full of plush goats, hinting that evil is still lurking. Furthermore, we faintly hear Ave Satanas as Anna grabs her Oscar. Anna got greedy. She wants the baby, the Oscar, and the power represented by the headdress. While Saiban is dead, Satan might have found her replacement. The message is, in the elite-sponsored stories, Satan never loses. On one hand, 
A.H.S. Delicate is a fictional story with an outlandish premise filled with supernatural nonsense. On the other hand, it is a scarily accurate depiction of the occult elite's true mindset and its influence on real-life events. And that is the ultimate goal of such entertainment, to disclose truths to the unsuspecting public while also fictionalizing them. It makes them part of art and popular culture, while also making people believe their made-up stories. A.H.S. Delicate was about a group of Satanists who carried out rituals, sacrifices, satanic ritual abuse, and murders disguised as suicides and accidents. All of these topics were discussed on this channel for real using real-life events. The series turned these horrific things into art and entertainment for the masses to consume. And, as people praise Kim Kardashian's performance as a Hollywood witch in the series, most have no idea that she wasn't playing a role at all. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.